Okay, it's back to Bowen Island, specifically touring around Snug Cove. Oh wow, this is a pretty, ah, good idea. Wow. I didn't realize that, we just came through a restaurant and ended up on the beachfront. Wow, that's yeah. a good thing. Huh? Now Beautiful. Oh yeah, see? Yeah. Doc Morgan. Yeah. Doc Morgan. Pub. Doc What is Steamship Company Marina? Wow, very beautiful in the waterfront. So, wow, somebody's got their big ocean liner here. <laughs> huh. uh, oh, there's a ferry's in already, but it's too early for us. We still got time to kill. I think you can rent. I looked at. So it says Union Steamship Company Marina. So my understanding is, which I looked online, you can rent one of the floating houses and it's uh, 165 a night. Yeah, the smallest one is 165. So. Oh, there a park, yeah? Yeah. Crippen. Crippen Park. Recreational. Wow, that one's big. Huh? Yeah. It's my ship. It's my inflatable boat. Oh, that's maybe the marina one. The floating house, yeah. Uh, I might as well. Oh, yeah, that's the floating house. Oh, how many? A few? It looks like oh, uh, the one in Victoria. Office, uh, marina office, yeah. Oh, okay. Or you could rent a, rent a spot for the, your boat. Don't expect me. It's because sitting. Yeah. Yeah. Sitting, sitting. Oh, it's a Flo Florida crab. Port oh, yeah. Lauderdale. Port Lauderdale. I've been there. It's a beautiful yeah. area. After I was checking. Oh, look at the bicycle. Rental there or somebody's. Oh, it's hotter down here. Huh? Yeah, so here's a floating house. Huh. Huh. Oh, they don't lock it, so that's a good thing. But the only thing is, not no view. You know? Oh yeah, let's let's go float around on a duck. Not bad. You know the ones down in Lake Cowichan are nicer, huh? The floating house in Cowichan is a lot nicer. A lot, lot nicer. Oh wow, you can go all the way around. Yeah. Huh? North Bend. Oh, they have a hibachi outside. Uh, or the propane. Oh wow, look at nice. You can go up there? Or wow, you nice. Have to back. Oh, old okay. lady. I think I can go around there or something. Okay. If we have oh, to okay. go back, it's okay. He's got a, he's got a barbecue there, this floating house, with the, the thing. Yeah. yeah, it's hotter on the water. Is this somebody's uh, house or area? House, I, I think so. Yeah. Thought a restaurant. Wow, that's quite a unique floating house. It's a nice patio. Oh, look at yeah, maybe oh, cheap. Wow, the yeah. onion is huge. And then the garden lady, lettuce. Uh, it's dying now. Yeah, wow. Oh yeah, look, he just puts his boat here. Yeah. Oh yeah, lettuce. Wow. You know it's growing corn. It's got oh, corn, wow. lavender. Yeah, yeah. Wow. And then he's got his own dock. So that's quite a floating boat. He's got a garden on his uh, roof. Garden everywhere. And seashells. What is that for taking? It's got tomato. It's got a barbecue. See, look at the barbecue. Do you see the silver barbecue? Huh? They're living here, or yeah, I think so. Oh, oh look at the boat has the bikes on the roof. It's a fishing trawl. Yeah. No, I don't think so. Okay. I want to go to the. Floating. Look at the bikes on the roof. Yeah. Oh, wow. 
yeah. mountain bikes on the roof of the oh. cabin boat. Wow, mm -hmm. it's electric? No. Look at how high, maybe. Uh, oh, look at. Okay. Da, da, da. Wow. Tomato, yeah. You know you're in BC when they have a totem pole. Uh, nothing? Trail? Small one. But the water level is uh, low. Yep, just more ocean and beach. <laughs> just more ocean and beach. Oh, not bad. Oh, wow. Squamish on the other side, yeah, Squamish. Squamish, right? Oh yeah, not bad. Oh there, that one is more down there. That one is more people, sandier. Yeah, yeah. Wow, there's That's a lot. Bad. This one may be good for the swimming and some kids. Are, and kids are and out. The and the one thing that I can say about this island is there's a heck of a pile of driftwood. All shapes, all shapes, sizes. Oh, and I just about fell over. Don't mind me. Okay, this is it. Last video. This is uh, Clarny Lake and the end of our day because uh, we've seen everything already here. It's not a lot to see here in Bowen. It's very small, but it was worth the trip. Try out, check out. I've always said I wanted to come here and I did it. Don't get me wrong, there is a lot to see and to do and many nooks and crannies to explore on Bowen Island. But hey, we all know summer is short and we still have a lot of places to visit yet and a lot of places to explore. So until next trip, next video, next adventure to happiness, we will see you next time and stay awesome. You know, the funny thing about this trip is we took the bikes, boat, everything, but you know what? We didn't use it and it didn't really matter to me. I would have loved to bike the island. Uh, that was definitely the plan. However, getting there, we realized that, you know what? Maybe that was a good idea. We didn't just bike the island. It was hilly, up and down, up and down, and windy. The roads were beautiful. I've never really taped it. Very small, so cars whipping around the corner. Yeah, they weren't watching and almost hit us in the car. So I can imagine on a bike, yeah, dangerous situation. So you know what? There is some hindsights and blessings to not taking the bike. But we still got a bike island trip or biking to an island trip coming up, taking a bike to Salt Spring Island. We already know Salt Spring is flatter and they have an amazing market, summer market there, very huge one. So that is definitely in our books. So island hopping number one is in the books. So you know what, we'll see you next time. I'm gonna go unload, unpack, and you know what, until next time kids, keep searching for your own adventures to happiness and keep being awesome we'll see you next time until next time hey cheers <laughs>